Hi, I'm Jim Linnell with Tandy Leather. I'm going to be showing you how to make a wallet and I'll be going through each of the steps with each of the tools in enough detail so that you'll know how to get the best results out of your leather work. So the next thing that we need to do is, is uh, peel this piece of cardboard. We've left the cardboard um, on there through the dyeing and finishing process just so that the um, leather would keep its shape and everything. And as I peel the cardboard off, you'll notice that I'm peeling the cardboard off of the leather rather than the leather off of the cardboard. And the reason for that is I don't want to grab the edge of this here and start pulling on it and have that piece of uh, leather stretch or, or become contorted as a result of it. And this is typical of having a little bit of that cardboard stay on there. And this is why we put a liner on the piece of leather. Um, we're going to use uh, a, a real thin piece of lining type leather. You could use thin garment leather. Just find something that's in a color and a tone that, that blends well with your wallet. But it's a good thing to put something over that, whether you have cardboard sticking on there or not. That gives you a nice smooth uh, finish on the inside of your wallet. Um, before we do that, though, um, we need to go ahead and mark where our stitching lines are going to go. So let's prepare to do that. We'll be putting this wallet together pretty soon, so at this point we want to go ahead and mark where the stitching lines are going to go. Um, using a pair of wing dividers, we'll set them for roughly about uh, an eighth of an inch. Um, in a, when you have a wallet um, like this uh, with a border around it, you probably want to have your stitch line go roughly halfway in, so using the the wing dividers, we're going to scribe a light line um, along the edge of this. And this is going to be the line that we use to punch our stitching holes in here. We'll get this put on at this point before we attach the insides so that the uh, uh, we have a nice flat surface here to work with. And then it's time for us to start assembling this and we'll begin by putting a liner on it. The liner that we're going to use for our wallet is just a piece of lightweight garment type leather. It, it's, it's real thin, it's probably ounce and a half or something like that so it won't add any bulk to our, uh, to our wallet uh, once we get it glued in place. And uh, to glue this in place we will take some rubber cement um, and we'll uh, put a coat of that on both the back side of the liner and the back side of our wallet and then we'll stick them together. Um, rubber cement works really well for tacking things down. It's not a permanent bond so if we needed to uh, shift things around it, it would uh, let us do that. But uh, we'll just put a, a, a light coat of it here on the, the back side of our back and make sure you get it out to the edges. Um, rubber cement and, and some of the contact cements that we use in leatherwork have a stronger order, odor than some of the other products that we use so you might want to use this with uh, in a good ventilated area. It's just always a good precaution with things like that. Uh, there's nothing offensive uh, or, or harmful about the odor but it just to uh, keep the air clean where you're working you might, uh, might keep uh, it well ventilated. Got that. Now we'll put it on the liner as well. With the rubber cement, it works best if you put it on both surfaces and then it, let it start to dry so that it's just tacky. Um, and that's um, how it sticks best together. Um, it doesn't take a lot. It just takes a light coat. But this holds everything in place. And obviously the rubber cement will flex and move so that as the wallet folds and goes in and out of the pocket, um, it'll, this liner and everything will move with it. We won't have any uh, wrinkling or, or any of those kind of problems with it. And that's one of the great things about using rubber cement. I've cut the, uh, a little scrap of this, um, uh, this liner material a little bit larger than the actual uh, wallet back. Uh, and I will use, once I get it glued on there, I'll then trim it so that everything matches up all the way around. That should be enough there. So now we'll 
with this laying flat, we'll just stick that down like this. And we have now a nice liner like this on the inside instead of that instead of that cardboard. I'm going to use a, a pair of leather shears to trim this liner off of the the excess liner off of our project. So um, works pretty good. We'll just uh, it's just like cutting fabric or something. It uh, lets us do a nice clean job there. So there's our wallet. It's got a nice liner on the inside of it. And now it's ready to, for us to assemble our wallet interior and get it ready to, to put in there. It's time to put our wallet interior together. And so we'll begin with these pieces. Um, these are the ones that we folded over. Uh, they have the slot in the back. And this piece actually is what connects them together. And what we'll do is we will um, pucker these, we'll fold these, we'll run this tab underneath this, and then we'll spread um, that wings open again there, and that'll hold that side in. We'll do the same thing on the other side and fold those wings back down, and that's how that gets held together. And then these will fold over and get stitched down there and there, so we have the beginning of that. On our wallet back, one of the things you want to do um, or pay attention to at this point is when you flip this over, make sure that you are putting your wallet interior in the right direction. And by that I mean if we had put someone's name on this wallet, for example, and had Jim running across here, and we weren't paying particular attention to what side was up when we were putting this interior in, we could have it Jim reading upside down when they open their wallet. So we want to make sure that we get um, get it in there correctly. So when we start putting this together, we will um, begin by putting uh, the divider in. The divider gets centered um, along the bottom, if this is our bottom. It gets centered uh, along the bottom, and this tab down here gets um, uh, stuck down. When it comes to sticking all of this together, this works really good. Um, sometimes if you use like rubber cement for this, the rubber cement, it's hard to keep it contained exactly uh, in the right place, but I love this double stick tape. It works really good for this. It helps us keep the, uh, the, the stickum and, the, and the, the tape exactly where we want it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll peel off a, a little piece of it here. And we'll stick it on the uh, along this tab here that we want, and right up next to the edge. And then using some scissors here, we'll trim it off so that it's uh, uh, just short of the end on both sides. And then we'll peel off this extra. Uh, the other side of the, the liner so that what we have here now is just the tape and then um, again lining this up on our wallet we'll center it up make it line up on the bottom edge there and stick it down you got to a second chance or two if you need it to to restick it but once you get it lined up where you want it and put it down with a little bit of pressure that'll stay put there um, and that'll stay there so that when we're punching the holes through the other side all of the holes will um, be lined up we don't have to uh, we can punch through everything all at once um, next we have a a tab that goes over the top this kind of hides that that um, double pocket on the inside so um, we'll get that stuck in place and do the same thing with that. We'll and then line that up along this top edge. And we're ready to stick our interior in. This one here actually uh, floats freely here. The only place it gets stuck down is where these tabs are. 
And so we'll turn it over and we'll stick uh, some of this double stick tape on on the back of those those places. Take a little piece here. This stuff is so much cleaner than using cement and it holds everything nicely in place long enough for it to, to do our punching. And then we should put a little piece up here um, on these other corners too. These, these little tabs here need to be stuck down as well. And we'll stick that into our wallet. And here we want to, um, again, center it up. We want this edge over here lining up on the edge, this edge on this edge, and then the bottom, we want it lined up on that bottom edge as well. And we'll push that down and get that to stick. And then the last piece we need to put in place are these two pockets. They'll go in here like this, and so we'll put a piece along the two edges that need to be uh, laced, and we'll uh, we'll stick those down. And we have our wallet interior in place, and we're ready to start punching holes. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure and check back often here at our blog, and we'll show you more tips and ideas on how to get the most fun out of your leatherwork.